to stay in there. We have a team with a lot of depth, a lot of guys who can uh, do a lot of special things. So uh, managing that uh, is not easy. Um, and it takes us as individuals to kind of uh, leave your ego at the door and, you know, just kind of do what's best for the team. And, yeah, you know, we're, we all have one common goal of winning the World Series. And it's going to take uh, all 25 of us. So it's, uh, that's not really a, a issue. Uh, yeah, like Jock said, uh, you know, we're all just here to win. Um, at this point, I don't think any of us are uh, upset or um, not happy about playing time or anything like that. Um, we all know that it doesn't matter if you start, you can still get in the game. Um, there's, I think there's been a couple of games where we haven't started and we've ended up getting more bats than some of the starters. So, uh, yeah, it's just we're all here to win and uh, we're all going to do whatever it takes to do that. Anyone on the front, Saturday? Max, there was an 0 for 7 game in Philadelphia, and then after that, there was kind of a slide for about 20 minutes and picked it back up. What do you remember about that game in Philadelphia? How difficult were things during that slide, and how did you get back to what you were doing earlier in the season? Um, I don't remember much about that game. Uh, you know, it's honestly, it's just baseball. Uh, there's not one person in this league, in the minor leagues, in college that hasn't gone through a stretch like that. Um, that's just the nature of the game, and it's, you just got to figure out how to get through it. Uh, and the best way to get through that is just taking everything one day at a time. Um, you know, each day you start off over Um You're not bringing things from the game before. It doesn't matter if you have four hits or no hits. Uh, each day is a fresh day, and you have a new start. Max, you uh, constantly refer to this season for you as a dream season, and now here you find yourself as somewhat of a, of a playoff uh, star in this first game. Uh, does this dream just keep getting bigger and bigger by the day for you? Absolutely. Um, again, this is what everyone dreams of doing. Uh, you get a big hit in a play, playoff game, and just more importantly, just being in the playoffs. Um, uh, you know, you look at the, the, some of the pieces on this team that were brought in, and uh, there's a lot of guys that haven't been in the postseason in seven, eight years, and there's some guys that have never been in the postseason. So it's a uh, um, not everyone gets a chance to do this, so this is why we play the game. Last throw on the right. Max, your plate discipline again was on display, and, and did you ever have any period at all in, in, on any level where you did chase a lot of pitches? And also, did how much of that plate discipline did you learn in the Oakland organization? Uh, I mean, I chase just as many pitches as everyone else. Um, you know, when you get to two strikes, you try to battle, and uh, sometimes you come out on top, sometimes they come out on top. Um, but as far as, you know, the discipline, that's just something I'd always had in my, you know, playing career from college, high school, uh, early stages in pro ball. That was just uh, something that I'd always had. Uh, fourth row center. Uh, Jock, uh, it was your eighth uh, lead off home run this uh, year. Um, what was the feeling when you hit it in the playoffs, like the very first game and you, like, started off? Um, yeah, uh, it's pretty special. Um, the guy had plus plus stuff, and we were just trying to get him, get her, get him early, get some guys on base. And I got behind 0-2, and I was uh, able to battle and uh, put a ball in the barrel, you know. But I definitely wasn't trying to do that, but it was really nice. Right here, Jack. I'm piggybacking off of her question. Uh, you set the franchise record for leadoff home runs this year with the Dodgers. Is there something different about your approach in that first at bat of the game, knowing that uh, I guess you could start off with a bang? I know you said you didn't mean to do it today, but another uh, approach? Um, not really. Uh, I think maybe I don't know. I hit before the game, so maybe I'm just a little fresher. I don't know. So maybe I should start uh, hitting before every at bat. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know. I wish I had the answers, and then I would uh, do that for the other at bats as well. Last couple questions, we're gonna throw you Max, uh, a little factoid that was just passed along to me from tonight's game. Max Muncy is the second player in postseason in history to go once one with a home run and three walks. The other was Babe Ruth, the 1926 World <laughs> Series. How many times have you been compared to Babe Ruth in your career? <laughs> Besides now? <laughs> Never. Uh, no, I mean, how, how, did, how cool is it to be in a situation in the postseason where those kind of things come up and, and through like that? 
I mean, that's something that's cool. Regardless of the situation, I mean, it's just a regular season game. That's something that's really cool to me. Um, but to have that happen in a go season game, even more special. The final question for the left here. You guys set a club record for home runs during the regular season and relied pretty heavily on the long ball. There's kind of a notion that the can't rely too heavily on home runs in the postseason. Do you guys believe in that? Is tonight maybe proof otherwise? I never heard of that notion, but uh, yeah, you know, the postseason you're facing some of the best pitchers, and good pitchers usually don't give up home runs. So uh, you got to grind out at bats, and I think we do a great job of that. And uh, hit with runners on base, get the guy over, situational hitting, all plays a part of it. But uh, I mean, Sometimes a home run does the job, so I don't know what to tell you. Uh, to me, um, I don't really feel like there's anyone on this team that's going up there trying to hit a home run. Uh, it's just the result of us having a good approach and good at bats. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of the home runs we've had have come off of uh, long at bats, working the counts, and uh, wearing the pitcher down. So, um, but again, I don't feel like we're trying to hit a home run. It's just the result of a good approach.